Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Matthew and today we're doing another discussion video regarding Haya Toys. But today is not going to be like a standard figure review or um, thing. It's going to be another discussion. But today's discussion is going to be a bit different on Haya. It is what I would like to see from Haya Toys specifically. I am not doing Super 7. I'm not talking about Mezco. I'm purely talking about Haya. With that being said, we've recently seen a surge of Haya releasing new MonsterVerse stuff. And I know they're doing more classic licenses uh, with the 89 that was recently revealed, or 91, I think, that they're also doing. But they've got a bunch more figures on the way and a bunch that are already out. This is the only Haya figure I own at the moment. The 2021 Heat Ray version. And let me just go ahead and say, I was not interested in Haya. I liked how cool it looked, but I felt like the fact that I already owned the NECA and the Monster Arts 21, or the NECA 2019 and the Monster Arts 21, there was no point in me actually like buying the Haya. But then I get gifted it for Christmas, and this is one of the most beautiful figures I've ever had the honor of seeing in person. And so that basically kind of convinced me to start buying some figures from the line. However, I'm not collecting everything. What do I mean by that? Well, here's some of the figures that I'm not really sold on yet. For example, the recent revealed Emerald Mothra. This is the NECA poster Mothra. It's essentially the same thing. It's a dark green Mothra that's supposed to look like it on the poster. Or underneath the waterfall. I already own this, and it's already been on my shelf for who knows how long. But the reason I'm not too sold on it is because, again, it's this. I've already owned the, this poster Mothra, and debatably it comes with the better accessory, not just the basic base. Regardless of what you say about the posability, because Mothra is not this version of Mothra is not really meant to be a superposable creature. It's a flying moth, like... You might as well just have a real moth in your room. It's the it's just that shelving out another 50 bucks for a figure I already own is just kind of uh, a bit off the walls. And in truth, a lot of the other figures, because like we have, what, five of these running around? We have the original from 21, the King of the Monsters, the Burning Godzilla, this... Their 21 reissue, which for some reason they classify as a different figure, and the translucent version of this. So now we're actually up to six. Seven if you count the 2014, which is going to be a bit smaller. But um, but the ones that I do want to get are specifically Ghidorah, because I still have yet to get anything from um, Monster Arts or Playmates or Bandai. I know they all have released stuff. But I'm really eyeing that King Ghidorah uh, from Haya. That's the one thing I've always wanted. And now I actually have a decent chance of getting it. Um, I'm probably not going to get Rodan. Because, again, I already own the NECA. Which, uh, I can actually just pull out the NECA. I've had this NECA Rodan for, like, years now. And, again, it's... Aside from these wing joints, it's never really failed me. But I just... I'm kind of vainly concerned about the bendy wires it has. Because bendy wires just don't team to last especially as far as collectors go because over time they get more brittle and brittle um so as for aside from king Ghidorah, i'm gonna get kong not to replace the playmates kong but just as a like a cool novelty item i might get the kong skull island kong the skull crawler i'm definitely interested in those mudos though the mudos or i think they right now just announced the female mudo yeah because they just announced the female mudo and that's coming relatively soon. So hopefully I can get my hands on that and have it next to my Godzilla 2014. Because you guys know for a fact that I need more 2014 representation. Because that Playmates is certainly not doing me any favors right now. But also I do need more Kong Skull Island stuff. Because the only 6 inch Kong we've ever gotten was this guy. And well the, the ones from Playmates. And while the ones from Playmates are not that bad. I think it's about time we get some more high-end collectible stuff, not just stuff you find at Targets, because Monster Arts sure hasn't touched them. But now for the ones I really want them to make. 
I really only want them to make three, three uh, specific monsters. They're all different versions of Godzilla, but I'll discuss why I want them to make one. Minus one Godzilla. No brainer. It's the newest, biggest Japanese movie uh, from Toho in a very long time, if not ever, because it passed the worldwide gross of Shin Godzilla. Then again, Shin Godzilla is only, like, what, in theaters for, like, two weeks in America? But it played for, like, ever in Japan, so, I mean, hey, there's that. Um, so, yeah, there's Minus One Godzilla. Uh, Super 7, I have seen their prototype. I'm not interested in it, honestly. I've said time and time again that I'm not going to collect Super 7's line just because I've seen in-hand photos of it and it and like especially the 89 and the quality of like the recent uh 2000 degrees Celsius their destroyer sure the destroyer looks big and tall but the quality of the plastic they use is utter garbage I would even debate that the Playmates Kong is just about the same quality as what Super 7's putting out and no, I'm not taking that back. Shin Godzilla himself, Form 4. I like Kamada kun I like Shinigawa kun but Form 4 is where it's at. I own like a boatload of Shin Godzilla figures, the MMS, the bootleg, the Playmate Shin Godzilla V1, 2, and the NECA uh, V2, which I still have yet to get the NECA V1 if I can find it for a good whole resale. So really, it's just about which one I'd rather want. Shin Godzilla I know is going to be a bit bigger than the uh, the NECA from Haya, sorry, the Haya Shin Godzilla would be a bit bigger, being like about here, while the Neka Shin Godzilla would be more about his height. And the third monster I would want them to make is actually the anime, oh sorry, is one of the anime Godzillas. Godzilla Earth, Phileas, or Ultima. Reason why is because, again, Playmates' distribution on some figures, like Ultima, were just a bit iffy and because they announced that they're no longer doing toho series which i don't know why they would discontinue toho series like come on it was a huge success for y'all and y'all just decided to pull the plug on it <laughs> whatever that's a whole different rant for another video but those are basically what i want them to make more of the recent godzillas i like the classics and honestly i would not mind them making a 75 73 Maybe a bit more later 60s, because I already own the 62 and 64 NECAs, and the 54, 56 NECA Godzillas. Maybe you can cram in a 55? But apparently, from what I've been hearing, Toho's been prioritizing Heisei monsters, rather, or Heisei era incarnations, because, you know, that's like their signature banner. If you go to any of the official um, Godzilla promotional material on Godzilla.com, most of it's either 54 or Heisei, not much in between. But with that being said, uh, that's just all I have for this video. I'm really hoping that I can get more highest stuff. If you guys liked it, definitely subscribe to the channel. Jesus loves you. God bless you all. Go out there and spread the gospel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone. God bless.